Dear Booktube, welcome back to my channel. In 2017, I visited about 30 countries. <laughs> hey there, Booktube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the next in the series of Books Around the World. This is a series where I share books that I have read that are set in other countries and I'm going through the alphabet five letters at a time to share books from these different countries. Next in our series is P and for that I chose In the Country by Mia Alvar. This is a Filipino writer and she writes about people from Philippines who are living in other countries. There are immigrants to the United States, to the Middle East, to Europe, and of course there are characters here who are still living in the Philippines and so that gives a comparison between the life that an immigrant might have in another country and the life that a person who has decided to, to remain in their country could have some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages. I did a buddy read with this one, so I read this one pretty carefully and I will share those thoughts. I'll put a link to my Goodreads page as well as to the video where I review this book more fully. For Q, we have Qatar and that is the memoir, The Girl Who Fell to Earth from Sofia Almeria. Sofia Almeria was born in Washington, Washington State. Her mother is from Washington, her father is from Qatar. He journeyed to the United States, met her mom, started a family here, and then returned to his homeland. And so when Sofia became a teenager and started acting out, her mother sent her to her Bedouin nomadic family in Qatar for some kind of teenage boot camp experience. And it did help to straighten her out, but she also felt really connected to her roots, and so she spent some time going back there. In this memoir, she shares her experience of these two different cultures and the impact that they have on her life. I'll put a link in the description box to where I review this one if you want to hear a little bit more about it. R is for Russia, and for that we have Still Here by Lara Vapnir. This is a novel about four friends who meet in Russia and migrate to the United States, to New York City at various points, and about how their relationship changes, but also how some of the things that they have experienced helps keep them connected. While most of the novel is set in New York City and follows their experience trying to pursue the American dream, at least one of the characters returns to Russia, and so we get that comparison of what the life is like in New York to what the life is like in Russia, but also we get to travel back through time and space to see their relationship blossom as they talk about their memories of meeting when they were students in Russia and seeing that transition to adulthood in a different country. R for Russia and I'll link my review in the description box down below. S is for Sierra Leone and for that I have the novel Radiance of Tomorrow by Ishmael Bia. He previously wrote and published his memoir called A Long Way Gone and that is about his experience living through the civil war in Sierra Leone. While his memoir I think focuses on the war itself and what it was like to live through that experience, this novel follows the survivors and shows how people are changed by having lived through a war and what it is like to pick up the pieces and to try to rebuild a life when everything and and in certain cases, everyone that you knew before is gone. This is a haunting story, very difficult to read, and so if you're someone who's very affected by violence, reading about violence, then this might not be one for you to pick up, but I will link the video where I talk about this a little bit more fully down below. Next one is a little bit of a cheat because while I started reading the book, so I did visit the country, I didn't finish reading the book. I've put it off to finish it in 2018. It is a tome and I'm gonna read this one during tome topple. That is the plan, that is the goal. But T is for Trinidad and for that we have A House for Mr. Biswas by V.S. Naipaul. V.S. Naipaul is arguably the most famous Trinidadian writer. As a matter of fact, I can't think of any other Trinidadian writers right now. If you're Trinidadian, don't hate me. But I say that because if I think about a book that is set in Trinidad that is going to show the Trinidadian experience, especially the colonial and post-colonial experience in Trinidad, can't really talk about contemporary Trinidadian writers, but if I'm thinking about a historical novel set in Trinidad, V.S. Naipaul is the author that I would turn to, and this one is no different. The author traces the life of a man to show the changes in the Trinidadian society as it moved from the post-colonial period into independence, and he shows this man who is at the end of his life and uses him as a metaphor for some of the failures and some of the successes that this new country had. It is a brilliant book 
that I haven't finished. So forgive me, we will talk more about this one in 2018 when I go back and probably read the whole thing because it is a great book, it's just, it's a chunker and it's one that you have to be prepared for and have the time to read although it is very readable. But those are five books from five countries around the world. Join me for my next video in this series where we're gonna wrap up my 2017 Books Around the World series and then move on to the books that I've been reading in 2018 that are set in countries other than the United States. So thanks for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below if you've read books from these countries or have suggestions maybe from these countries or other countries that you think I might be willing and able and interested to read in 2018. Or if you wanna guess what the next five books in this series are gonna be, next video, we're finishing up the alphabet, so we stopped at T. We need to do U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. That's six books. There are no independent countries that start with W or X. So you're gonna to have to come on back for the next video in that series to see how I navigate around that. But thanks for watching this video. Please go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave some thoughts down below so we can chat down there. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.